Yo, what's good? Welcome back to Urban X TV. It's Malcolm. I'm here to talk about, you know, some like if if you if you know if you know me, um, you know I'm a I'm definitely a battle rap fan. I was a huge battle rap fan when, like when I was back in high school, you know, back in those days when I felt like, you know, it was, you know, the 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 artist was still hungry. Um, now I felt like you know since if if you've like read some of my articles since uh the Lux versus Calico battle. I felt it's been on a real steady decline because a lot of uh, the top tier battlers, they've all gone against each other sometimes multiple times. Um, and then you can kind of tell when people are going easy, when they just want the check, they're just trying to get a bag. So I felt like it's been on a steady decline. And I think the gap between the top tier and like the, the newer guys, like the gap is just kind of too far. Like you can tell like this guy is new. But, um, Rare, Rare Breed Entertainment, RBE, they just put on, um, Mook versus Averb, right? I thought that was a dope battle, right? I felt like it can kind of go either way, which, which would kind of mean it was an L to Mook because I felt like he should have bodied Herb, I mean, bodied Verb outright, you know what I'm saying? But it was a good battle. Um, both rappers put on a great performance, but... This battle we talking about right now today, son, J Mills versus K Shine. That's going to be crazy. What I'm predicting, like right now, before we get any further, I think K Shine is gonna win, probably two one, right? I don't see him three on J Mills. I actually think it's gonna be a close battle, but I think with this format, with this current format, and J Mills has been away for a while. I don't, I'm not even sure what his last battle was. It was probably Mook in front of on, on two fifth, but I think uh, K Shine has a little bit more experience. He's been battling consistently for some years now, like for a long time now. And even though I'm sure J Mills pen is still top notch because he's been with Young Money for a while without him putting out music so I felt like I would assume he's writing for people and I, I would assume like his pen is still fresh but what I tend to see with um with battle rappers when they come back to battle they either try to skate off of what they did in the past and it's it's it's, it's corny you know what I'm saying like I don't I don't want to hear about it or they try to downplay battle rap when they're back battle rapping you know what I'm saying? I, I don't understand that at all. So, but and one thing I don't want to see from K Shine either is, you know, those, uh, he thought he was too good. I don't want to hear those bars either. Like, he thought he was too good, but now he's back. Averb already did it to, Ver, um, to Mook. I don't want to hear that again. I think uh, K Shine is a little too clever for that. Um, I even did an um, a article on Urban X and NYC, quick plug, um, about uh, K Shine's top rounds in battle rap so you can go check that it's in the description below and yeah i think it's gonna be dope man um i want to see like you know hungry you know from hungry boss from both of them like i want to see that j mills when he was clapping in in you know a mook face like listen little nigga like, i want to see all of that you know what i'm saying i don't want to see you know too cool like you got your you got your money you got your deal like, i don't want to hear none of that type of rap and I want to hear that that hungry like he was rapping in front of Diddy like big am I crazy or what like I, th I think that was in line but I want to hear that you know what I'm saying one thing I think uh favors J Mills over K Sean is the fact that he hasn't battled a lot you know on camera because he he we, we all heard rumors about all the battles he's had against Rex Lux like all these other people but they aren't on camera K Shine has a way larger library of battles that Mills could pull from, you know, and reference in his rounds. So I think that will favor J Mills a little bit more than K Shine. And we can't deny the fact that J Mills is literally one of the fathers of this culture. So I th and again, I think it'd be corny if K Shine. And the rest of those battle rappers, in when, when they're talking about this battle, right? When if they try to dismiss what he's done or say 
he left them like he's not trying like bettering his career and moving on with his career is a bad thing. So we'll see about that. And then Kayshawn, I want to see some creativity in how you dissect Jay Mills. You know what I'm saying? I don't want to hear the same cliches, super long gun. I don't, don't want to hear none of that. So I think this is going to be dope. It's going to RBG um, November 3rd. And I think it's going to be crazy. I, I, I really do. I might even go to that. Might even go. Maybe not. But I'll, you know, I'll review it. So, um, me and my pops, we're going to talk about this later on the podcast this week on Thursday. So, don't forget to check that out. Um, yeah. J. Mills vs. K. Sean. It's going to be ill, man. It's going to be ill. I don't know. I, I don't know. I might, I might change my prediction the closer we get to the battle. I have to see... You know what Jay Mills did has done in, in battle rap since, because I the last thing I remember is him versus Mook, you know, from the state build on the two fifth. So we'll see. So with that being said, I'm Malcolm. You know, thank you for checking out this video. Again, if you want to see the article I did on K Shine and other URL battles, this is not a URL battle. Oh, and shout out to our to Red Breed Entertainment. Y'all are putting on some shows. I don't know where y'all getting this money from to pay these dudes, but y'all are putting on some shows. But if you want to see those articles, they'll be in the description below. Uh, don't forget to you know like, share, and subscribe. And yeah, peace. Peace. This is The Black Dot, author of the underground classic Hip Hop Decoded and Urban Culture Decoded. For 15 years, I've been decoding hip hop, breaking it down, giving you it piece by piece, the DNA of hip hop, all of its multifaceted components. For the next 15 years, I want you to join me as I give you hip hop recoded and we put it back together, giving you its RNA so that we don't leave the next generation lost. But I have to give you a disclaimer. I am not a hip hop guru. This is not hip hop law. This is for pure entertainment purposes only. I am not a doctor. So before you take the red pill and go with us into the matrix of hip hop, consult your doctor to see if hip hop recoded is for you. With that being said, we thank you for your patronage and we see you on the other side. Peace.